A very important skill in organic chemistry is the ability to label each kind of carbon within a molecule. We're going to be using this constantly throughout organic chemistry. And it's very simple. Let me show you how to do it. For instance, what kind of carbon is this carbon right here? All you do is ask yourself one simple question. How many carbons are directly connected to that carbon? Well, this carbon to the right is the only one directly connected to him. So the kind of carbon he is, is a primary carbon. That's how you label the kinds of carbons. Let's do the rest of them here to make sure you got this. What kind of carbon is this? Well, again, we focus on him and we ask ourselves how many carbons directly bonded to him. Well, he has this one directly to the right and he has the other one directly to the left and the one directly above him. That's a total of three, making him a tertiary carbon. And another thing, notice how we label them. We put the number and a little circle as an upper right hand superscript. Let's do the next carbon, this one right here. Asking ourselves the question here, we would notice only this carbon right here is directly connected to him, so he would be a primary carbon. Let's do this guy right here. Looking at him, we would notice he's directly connected to the carbon to the left here, and he's also directly connected to the right carbon over here. That makes him a total of two, which means he is a secondary carbon. And lastly, this guy right here, he has only really one carbon directly connected to him, and that is this one right here, so that makes him a primary carbon. So let's make sure you got this. Let's look at a sample problem here. And if you could, maybe pause the video and try to do this yourself. And then when you're done, push play and we'll go over it. So our labeling here is let's start with this carbon. We would notice that he only has this carbon directly connected to him. That would make him a primary carbon. And notice that's true for these carbons right here as well. They all have that central carbon directly connected to them, so all of these would be primary carbons as well. However, this central carbon, notice, has directly connected to him all four. He has this one here, he has this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon all directly connected. This means that he's a quaternary type carbon. So think about it, since carbon can at most make four bonds, these are the only types of carbons you could have, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary.